Hello guys, welcome back. <coughs> and what I'm going to do in this tutorial is that you have seen file pooling, but assume that you have a file here in the monitor. How do you read it? How do you read it? How to get the file and everything? That's an important question. Now, since we are getting the file over the internet through the local host 5555, there is a service called as get transport info. See here, get transport info. It's under show in package navigator, it's under this. And if I click on get transport info, it uses the following output. See, here you have, see, here you have uh, F FTP, file polling, and messaging JMS. In our case, it's file polling. This is what we are going to focus. Okay, so what I've done, I'm going to explain this. What I've done. I first thing is that I have done is get transport info. So the moment once I file places the file here, it will get the transport info. And then I'm just saving the pipeline so that I can show you after running how it works. I'm restoring the pipeline. Then I'm using get file. See, get file show in. Uh, I think we have seen this in case if it's not, it's going to get the file. And from here, I'm getting, re I'm reading the file. See, from here and I'm loading it as string, okay? And I'm extracting this data under extract data. Since anyways, I'm loading as string, I'm extracting the data, and finally, I'm debugging it. Deb I'm using the debugging log, passing the extracted data. So which means, let me go back here, and under done directory, so let me take one file, and I'll say data three, okay, three dot txt, and here I'm going to say, Instead of this, I'll say, welcome to web methods. File polar. Okay, save it. Now here, <coughs> under server <coughs> ports, I'm going to disable it. Okay, and I'm going to enable it so that it can pick up early and rest of them I'm going to delete it anyway. So I'm going to paste it here under monitor okay now see i'm gonna enable it so oh it got picked up see immediately and it's moved to done directory and if i go to the logs see welcome to web methods file polar now let's debug this and check it out what happens now let me disable this and even let me disable get transport info the reason why I disable get transport info is because at debug this will not work I'm going, going to enable restore pipeline, okay? So wh what have we understood in the file polar concept saying that initially, initially file will be placed here, then it will move to here and then it will move to either this or this, any one of them, okay? We are, we'll also simulate this error direct error path now, okay? See here, first step, let me debug this and we're going to restore it, right? So first step debugging it, debug, see here, here we got under file polling, see, we got the original file name, see, original file name, this is the original file name. Now if you have noticed a little bit here, that file name from monitor, it has moved to work directory, see, it has moved to work directory and it has automatically renamed to this particular um, file. It has renamed. So, what have I done? So, under transport info, file polling, this is what I want to get the file. This is what I want to get or read. So, this is what I've done. So, just let me expand this. See here. See here. This is what I've done. I said that take this file name, load it as string, load as string, and give this value, whatever value that, whatever value that has within this, whatever value that has within this, which is nothing but this is a value. Okay, then, okay, see here, let me take this 4824, right? Let me see what's the name, 4824. I'm putting it into Word directory, okay. Word directory. Control X, Control V, now it's in work directory, cool. See. Next is get file, see, the moment once I click on get file, see, it has extracted the data, see, it has extracted the data. Even though after getting file, guys, remember, it is still in work directory. It has not moved here. Only after 
only only and only after completing the entire step it will move to work directory now it has debugged it has completed now if you see it has it would have moved to done directory but since we are in debug mode since we are in debug mode this does not happen if in debug mode this will not automatically not move to work directory you have to explicitly move it since it's in this this is in debug mode okay it won't work like that if it's when you run the whole service it will automatically move to done directory but since it's in debug mode it will not work so that's how you work it out now i'm deliberately going to change this particular uh, let me remove this save and restore now you understood it now what i'm going to do is that i'm deliberately going to change this file name i will remove this and i will place it as say something like hello i'll say g slash work something like this okay this is invalid path i'm just placing invalid path so if i place it that particular file since it get file will not be able to execute it should automatically move to error directory let us see the simulation of error directory i'm gonna paste it place a file here called move to Okay, sorry about that, guys. Okay, so I think I was talking in mute. So I've created a move to error text file, and here I'm going to type it as this will move to error. Save it, and let me check this port. Mm, server ports. It's in enabled state, so I'm gonna move this here. This will anyways have to fail. I'm going to move this here. Okay, so it's here. you can see i'm going to refresh it after 30 seconds it has to move okay it has to move to error directory this is what it will happen it should move to error directory okay from from here to here see you saw it right it has moved from here to here see there is nothing inside here so now it has moved to error directory cool right so that's how it works okay yeah that's about the scheduler but i'll tell you really how you have to enable the scheduler um what i want you to do is that i'm just going to delete everything the ideal way of creating is okay see first thing is that let me delete this add primary port not sorry add port okay click on the file polling port submit and then select the package which are wherever there is flow service that's residing you can give the name file polling file polling and here run as administrator processing service this is a processing service file polling you can keep it less this number of threads of execution here see first of all here you have to give something like this file monitor file slash something like this main path main path okay main path and then you give it as work path work path and then this is this is complete path and this is error path error path and here you say that file name filter will content type say text slash plain let's see what are the regular expressions we can apply here file name filter i see file name filter the file name filter is for monitoring directory integration server only process files that meet the filter requirements if you do not specify all the fields all the files will be picked up you can specify the pattern matching in this field which means something like this dot um, star dot txt it will pick up all the text file okay actually let me see if that works uh, this regular expression i might be wrong in this regular expression but let me see that okay uh, if i place a csv file okay i'll keep it a 5 seconds and uh, number of file to process per interval i'll say 1 save it okay so here it is and i the next thing always have to make it allow allow by default go back here and this time it's at the star.txt and here if you can see okay i think this has not been created unfortunately g monitor file it has not been created 
Is it because it's not enabled? Let me enable and see what happens. Monitor in directory does not exist, which means this monitor file must have to be created first. Okay, that's fine. We'll create it. Not a big deal. Now, if I enable this, say it's monitoring directory does not create, which means under mon monitoring this this has to be created. Okay. This again, I'm doing main path. Okay. Let's enable this this time. Let's see. Um, not sure why this is taking up here. Edit file. Let me see if I can just paste it something like this. G monitor file main path and file name filter. Okay, let me try to enable this this time. Working, okay, it's saying working directory does not exist. Oh God, I think we have to create a whole part. Okay, I'll say work path. That's fine. Then I'll say complete path. Okay, that's fine. Then I'll say error path. Okay, so if you specify, it just means that you have to have everything. So place it, let's see. Oh good, thank God it got enabled. Okay, now let me place a text file and here I'm going to change this so that it gets processed. Okay, it gets processed. File polling, file name here. It runs every 10 seconds. So let me place the main path and here I'm going to say done.txt. That's it. And here I'm, oh, it's not there, see, it's not there, it's gone. It has moved to, let me, it has moved to complete path, see, it has moved to complete path. Now, <coughs> let me see if I can place a CSV file. And here I'm going to say place CSV. Let us see, oh, it has picked it up again already. Oh, that's too fast, okay. So let me place a CSV file here and move it place dot csv okay and see if this works main path so let's see it will pick up every every five seconds so one two see one two three four five no it's not picking up so the regular expression did work fine so that's how you work it out guys um, yeah, that's a good learning. I hope uh, you understood the file polling concept. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this section. And let's see what else we can accommodate in the upcoming tutorials. Thank you.